startups, most of them have failed. And so Bitcoin is exactly the place that I like to be. We're gonna end it right there. Feel free to um, ask questions or pop in at any time about any of this. And this has been a long time coming, guys, and I'm, I'm going to be getting right into it here. Um, it's been a long time coming, and I've missed it. That's the, the plain and simple TLDR. It took too long, did not read, is simply, I miss this, guys. I miss the interaction. I miss, well, for a lot of you guys, I just miss the fact that I know who you are. Shaking your hand, giving you a hug. Said what's up in person, played some games, saw the future together. You know, it's just nice to reconnect with my people. And so, uh, this is one of those things that I think has just been a long time coming, and I'm glad that uh, I'm back. Uh, Agent Skull, M. Terry, Crypto Mom. John Jarash, just like the old days. Yeah, Nemesis, I know, we missed it too. It's great to engage with you guys like this and get serious because I've had a lot on my mind. I've had a lot on my mind, guys. Do you guys even know when the last time I did a Sunday sermon? 2018. 2018, over a year ago, guys. Over a year ago since my last Sunday sermon. But this, you know, this Sunday sermon, guys, was spur of the moment, um, I, I will give some props because I did write some notes down here earlier, uh, moms, that I wanted to say that I'm going to give you props, uh, props to moms, make sure that I give props to moms, and the reason is because is moms and I talked about a little, uh, about this a little bit um, on Yen, and with the project, the experiment that I just completed, with that experiment just completing, it has been amazing. Uh, the kind of the whirlwind of opportunity that has arisen and you know it's 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 crazy it's 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 exciting at the same time because when you when you when you tell people that your current project is completed or you tell people that hey something's done and i'm like a free agent again I was watching Jeremy Lin and his kind of sob story. I don't know if any of you guys caught that on the news, but I saw that on the tweeters for all, all the freaking places, right? I saw it on the tweeters. Um, Jeremy Lin, who, you know, sat sat on the sidelines during the, during the finals, but is an NBA champion. He is an NBA champion, 100%. No one could ever take it from him. But he's going into the free agent land, and apparently people uh, are no, no uh, um, basketball uh uh, franchises want to pick them up. But I'm on the other side of Jeremy Lin right now. And Jeremy Lin is unfortunately not being picked up by all these franchises. He's feeling bad. Boo hoo, boo hoo. And I respect him greatly. I have nothing against him. Uh, I could go on and on about how much I respect him in the, uh, various different parts of his life and parts of his, his game. But I'm on the other side because I, I, I started telling people, guys. I started telling people, because you guys know me, because there's no quit here, right? And I started telling people, I said, hey, the project's done. And they'd say, oh, the project with you and so-and-so? It's like, yeah, 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 it's done. And they'd say, oh, why? And I'd say, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're still great friends. There's, there's so much opportunity for him and me. But what's, but what's real and what's here is me, is I'm a free agent again. And what has been so fun is the inbound. Oh, I love it, guys. I love the inbound. Yeah, Trilla, absolutely, Trilla. Transitioning quick, quickly, yeah, Nick, absolutely. Keeping the wind in the sails, absolutely. I actually, I could show you guys a fucking screenshot of a chingu of mine, a friend of mine, who literally told me, he said, oh, man, just stop working for a little bit. Chill. Oh, man. You going to come at me like that? You going to come at, you gonna come at me like that? You going to tell me to chill? You going to tell me not work for a little bit? You got to be out of your mind. M. Terry, free Asian. Yes. Gonna, there you go. I, I, put a, I, I, I pressed the button. I pressed the button. Now you at five likes. Free Asian. 
But I have had people come out of the woodworks and say, oh, damn, you a free Asian? And I say, hell yeah, I'm a free Asian. It's, it is time to go. Now, for many of you guys in the know, obviously, you know that there is a huge, huge, huge thing, a massive monstrosity in the background. And you guys know what that is. That's that yiggity yen. And that's never leaving. That is, that is in full effect. I have been able to grease the wheels so that that can continue without my operational support. And that, and for those of you guys who were at the retreat out in San Francisco, you guys know, and I, guys, I told you face to face that this was the plan. The plan was to go back out into the gray. The plan was to go back out into the wilderness. The plan was to go out and be once again in the unknown. Frasian. I like that. I like that, Corgi. Frasian. And so I'm back in the unknown. And guys, you guys, I didn't miss a, I, I didn't miss a day. We, we cleaned up the project on Thursday. Friday, I got back to work. It's time. And here's the thing. When I started telling people Friday, Saturday, and today, Sunday, as I started telling people slowly that I'm back, I'm a Frasian, I'm a free Asian, um, people coming out of the woodwork. But I wanted to serve you guys first, all you ticket hodlers. Y'all know who y'all are, and I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad that we could do this Sunday sermon. I haven't even started the sermon yet. Shite. But I wanted to serve you guys first, because if you, if you watch my, my video from yesterday um, about uh, looking towards the future, I said that I j I'm in a place where all I want to do is just give. Give, 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 because I, I have a lot to give, and frankly, I'm a good communicator. And as a good communicator, I should be giving through the act of communicating what I know. And it ain't always going to be right. It ain't always going to be perfect. There's no solutions here. There are, only, there are only anecdotal experiences from one man who looks at the larger meta picture of my life, because I can't talk about your life. Right, And so, man, I wanted to serve you guys. That's what, that's, that's what, and that's what's so, it, it, I, I felt so good having that moment. I felt so good having that, that revelation in my mind because Friday I got my ass back into gear. I put, I put, I was driving the radical, you guys saw that, driving the radical, and then I decided to sit down and just put my thoughts together. You know what was really crazy? Is as many times as I've sat in front of this fucking computer and this, this freaking, you know, webcam and all that stuff, <laughs> I was nervous. I was nervous. I was like, man. And, and the reason why I had a, a, a bit of nerves. The reason why I had a bit of nerves is because I, I knew I was serving people that I really cared about. And I wanted, I want you guys, I want you guys to know. I want you guys to know that. Because that matters to me. What's up, Gundy? It is just the tip. It is just the tip. And so you guys, get the, you guys get to bear the first fruits because you guys have been with me the longest on my internet journey, if we want to call it that. And so the world isn't getting my first fruits. It's you guys. You guys are my number two video coming back. And I'm really excited to kind of share my heart um, out in the open. Uh, it's, 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 there's been some changes in me in the last couple years of doing this online YouTube stuff. And, and I think it's just... You know, I, I preach a lot of, hey, let's be authentic, let's be radically transparent, let's be, let's, let's show as much as we can, but uh, I had a good friend of mine not, a, not, not too long ago uh, tell me, he said, Peter, you're really good, you're really good at being transparent online, like people really get to know a, a real side of you, but he said, there's a deeper level that I've heard and, I, you know, he's referring to the Sunday sermons. Uh, he's a, he said, there's a deeper level that I heard. He said, and that is the better side. That is the side that he said, 
is worth really listening to. And he said, if you could do that more, if you could just spit that game more, he said, I think I'd listen to you every daggone day. And this is my friend, right? My friends don't listen to me, guys, by the way. I mean, a lot of you guys on here are my friends. Uh, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> and so that, that just got me thinking. And so I was like, you know what? I, I need to get down. I need to, I need to set, up, set up a server, get some of the OGs on it, and let's just put it down. Let's just, yes, that's right, the locals, the local yokels. That's right, Trilla Manila, the local yokels. And so we're going to be jumping right in here, guys. It is the first Sunday sermon. It is Sunday. I had to look at the clock for a second. It's Sunday, July 28th, 2019. And I'm back, guys. And I want to do these more regularly. I want to share what I got in my heart. I want to share what I got in my soul. I want to share what I got in my mind. I want to share what's going on. But I also want to share, hopefully, something that you'll be able to extract from this conversation that you can take back to whatever you're doing and improve it, make it better, spark something so that you can level up, that you can get to that next level. That's all I fucking care about. And you guys know, because you guys have heard me do these Sunday sermons years ago. You guys know that's all I care about anyway. So let me juice up here for a second. Got my Gatorade here, guys. Locals. It's been an awesome trip, for sure. <sighs> Leveling up together. So, let's get into this... Uh, First Sunday sermon. The title of today's first Sunday sermon is Becoming Unstoppable. Becoming Unstoppable. I alluded to this uh, in my last video, guys, if you had watched it. If not, doesn't matter. I'm going to repeat it right now. Is After my, my project ended, my, my brother asked me, he said, so what did you learn? And I said, it was easy. It was very quick. It was easy for me to respond because I knew exactly what I had learned. I had simply reaffirmed the very simple fact that I, Peter, your Doge Lord, am able to do anything. And not only that, I can do it quickly. I can do it with excellence. I can do it with some semblance of quality. It doesn't have the polish of a, of, a, of a seasoned veteran. But to the un, untrained eye, I can get by, right? My quality of product, right? Is, I mean, you, right? I mean, in, in 73 days, I was able to knock out and create an entire infrastructural platform for an ecosystem of potential growth, right? It looked like an empire, beginning to grow, right? We had an iPhone. I had punched out an iPhone app. I had punched out an Android app, websites, YouTube. I had punched, I mean, high quality stuff, right? All this in 73 days, getting advertisers to come in, interest, all these types of things. These are all possible. I reaffirmed this, guys. I reaffirmed that <gasps> I can do anything. And the reason is very simple. I'm a self-learned man. And, we're gonna, and, and I, I want to dig in into this a lot more uh, throughout these Sunday sermons, but I'll, I'll just give you guys a tip uh, of it right now. I was telling my kids this not too long ago. I was telling them, I was saying, hey, you don't need school. We have you in school because there are some rudimentary basic things that are required for you to understand, to be socialized, and to be social. All right? I didn't use those words, guys. I used different words. But that's essentially what I told my kids. I said, but you don't need school. S school is not something that we are looking as, 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 as a assured path for you. The self-education route is what 
we desire for you chillins, for you kids. And it's great. Both my kids are voracious readers. My, my daughter, an appetite second to none. She reads more than I do. And she reads more than I did when I was her age. And I said, and I said you are a gifted, talented, and endlessly hungry you know, reader. And, and that's why you're going to be successful if you choose to apply it. Because you will never end, uh, you will never have, uh, you'll have an endless supply of material to read. And so the question is merely, what do you apply yourself to? Right, this is the, my daughter is merely taking the very similar approach that her appa, her daddy has taken, right? Three master's degrees, trained scientist, worked for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, right? Did government contract work, private consulting, corporate consulting, published two books, right? Traveled the world, spoke at conferences, got into crypto, built applications, right? I am a self-learned man. I am someone who reaches and expands himself so that I can understand the world around me and say, you know what, out of all the options that I have, what do I really want to do? So the TLDR, and I'll give you the end of the sermon, the TLDR is how do you become unstoppable? You never stop self educating. You see, I learned so many things in this last 73 day project. I learned once again what I am capable of when I apply myself 5,000%. I also understand what I'm willing to spend in a very quick, short amount of time to create the momentum necessary for continued success. This was not in cheap experience, my friends. This was an expensive experience. Tens of thousands of dollars went into it. But it's because I go in. And in, I, you guys know that I usually enjoy the 90-day experiment. But we made it 73, and that was just enough for me to extract exactly what I needed. And I'll tell you what it was. What I needed... What I needed was to remember that, uh, to remember of who I am. That's it. Who I really am. I am a solopreneur. I've, I've heard that term before. I believe I've used it the most out of anyone that I've ever met. But that is how I have encapsulated myself. And I like to use the word carpreneur these days because I like that word too. Because I like chess. I like the cars, guys. But I'm a solopreneur. I can move with speed unmatched. I was sitting down with an individual. I was over at a, a rap shop not just uh, two days ago because life moves fast. Two days ago, I was sitting down with an individual telling him I was a free agent and telling him about some of the ideas that were ruminating through my mind and what I, things that I had considered and offers that had been crossed my desk already and individuals and entities that would like to partner and say, hey, you know, let's do X or let's do Y, let's do Z. And as I was sitting down with him and, and kind of ex explaining all of this, he had this puzzled look on his face, and I'll never forget, he had this puzzled look on his face and, and, and he, he looked at me and he said, but why? He said, but, 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 but why? Why is all this happening? And I said, because I live with intention. And I'm moving on. It's time to go. And he said, no, no, no. Like, he kind of, I, I forget how he really posited, but he kind of paused and he kind of quipped again. He's like, well, like, really, what, why? Like, you seem to be doing all right. You don't need to be, like, running this hard. You don't need to be doing all, all this stuff. I mean, chill. 
And I appreciated that. Like a man, a man who was, was successful sitting in front of me. I mean, looking at me to my face. He's willing to tell me, not over the internet, not over text. Just sit there and look me straight in the face and say, why? You just, I think you need to chill the fuck out, Peter. And I appreciated that because it gave me an opportunity to tell him why and change his life. <laughs> because if you ask me a question, I'm going to give you a fantastic answer. And so I laid in and I leaned in and I gave him a fantastic answer. I said, I have come to a powerful understanding. And this is actually when I began thinking about this, this sermon, I guess, subconsciously to you guys. But I said to him, I said, I have found that I am unstoppable. That as a self-learned man, I can do whatever I want. I can create whatever I want. I can go wherever I want. I can't meet whoever I want, but I know people who might just be able to get me a meeting with the people that I want to meet. And trust me, guys, I don't want to meet anyone famous. I'm more of a local vicinity type of, hey, I'd like to meet you <laughs> type of dude. So I don't have big aspirations to meet, you know, your Bill Gates or your, your, your you know, your Warren Buffett. It's, just, it's not my thing. I'm a local yokel guy, man. I like local roads as long as they're smooth. And I said to him, I said, I have no time to waste and, it, and, and it, this was, guys, this was one of the most poignant moments where I had literally just spoken into my own heart as I was talking to him at that moment. Because it was like, you, you, sometimes when you speak something out loud, you didn't believe it or you didn't speak it. You, it wasn't true until you spoke it and then you spoke it to trueness, right? When I spoke out loud to him, I said, I have no time to waste because I am dying. And I, I said it. And I talk about, you guys know, I've talked about the whole idea around death and how you can embrace the, 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 the trueness of it and the truth of it uh, and harness that. Uh, maybe we'll save that out for later. But when I said to him, I said, I'm dying. Like my heart like double pounded, you know, like in the movies where they, they drop something, some special message or some special moment in the movie, right? And it's like, boom, boom and the, the big bass hits and it's like, it sinks into the main character. You could see it all over their face. Their, their face turns ashy, pale white. The blood drains from them. You could see their shoulders get slumped over. And the realization of some new reality had just taken a hold of their present conscious. And their present conscious is severely fucked up. Like that is the truth that I spoke. I said, I am dying. And it was like, boom. And then I, I was like, dude, if I, if I know that I'm unstoppable, if I know that I can do anything, then time is the most precious asset that I have, period, full stop. Mom says, Building is satisfying. Why would anyone want to quit? Dude, I'm like you, girl. You know. Gunny said, there are no borders, only obstacles. I want to take, build and take on new things till I die. I got you. I got you, fam. I'm right there with you. It was wonderful. He loved the answer. And he looked at me and he said, man, 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 you, you make me feel, man, you're inspiring me, dude. You're inspiring me. There's shit that I want to do. And I said, good, go get it. Do it. Make it real. Make it happen. When you wake up and you realize that time is the only asset that really matters and that you truly have the ability to be whoever you want to be, to do whatever you want to do, Subcontext, subtext, you have to learn that shit and you have to work your ass off learning that shit, working harder than anyone else, but because you're worth, because you're grinding your ass, learning that shit, 
grinding that shit. Trilla, I see you. Trilla, I see you. Trilla, I'm going to say it again. I see you. See, there, I haven't, I'm not ignoring these things, Trilla. I see you. Don't fucking quit. Don't stop, bro. I see you. You're changing your life. Moms, I see you. I see you with your new, with your new gig, moms. I see you, girl. Don't quit. You're unstoppable. Moms, Trilla, you're both unstoppable. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Let that sink in. That's a, a question I had on my notes here right in front of me in preparation for today's Sunday sermon. I wrote it down. I said, who do you want to be? <laughs> you, know, you know, what's so awesome about this particular idea, what's so liberating about this particular idea is that I, and we've talked about this before, some of y'all who might listen to this later will take this out of context, but y'all can take the back seat, shut the fuck up, you don't know what you're talking about. But the reason I can sit here, guys, and enjoy the fact that I literally have the world in front of me, and I can be whoever I want to be because I earn the right to be able to have the luxury to sit here and craft my future narrative. Motherfuckers will take that out of context. It's just because you haven't earned the right to live the way that you want to live. But when you've earned the right, and we've talked about this in previous Sunday sermons years ago, when you've earned the right to live the life that you want, then you have at your disposal the margin to choose. And today, my friends, I am excited to tell you that I am unstoppable. I haven't chosen yet what I want to do. But you know what I really want to do? I want to share it with you guys. I want to keep talking. I want to tell you what's on my mind. I, tell you, I want to tell you what mountain I want to climb next. What great game I want to win next. What market I'd like to conquer next. And you might say, well, Peter, man, that yiggity yen ain't even out yet. God, you should have been at the retreat, brother. You should have been at the retreat, sister. Because golden words are not repeated. And unfortunately, those memories are locked and sealed. Some of them are trademarked and patent pending. <laughs> Yen's going to do fine. It's going to be, ex and I mean, we're still pushing hard, of course. But where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be? In it for the long bear market, made strong hands, says Trilla. Hey, boy, don't stop that coding. Mom's like, work harder than everyone else. I've listened. I've learned. I am applying knowledge. Absolutely. Edward, what's up, bro? Build a net worth of one million be very tough. Once achieved, two million becomes easier. Bro, it only gets easier because once you have tasted what you are capable of, and I'm telling you guys, this Sunday sermon is an, an extraction of a re-verification of the power that I wield and it is amazing. And I love that I'm able to communicate this to you guys here in this server. We don't have too many people in here. But what I appreciate is you guys actually understand me for me. And you guys have met me. You've spoken to me. You've shaken my hand. We've spent time together. We've played games together. We've eaten together. Like these are all things that we've done together. So you guys know that when I say that the world is... Well, who do you want to be? I would challenge you in today's sermon, 
if you haven't thought about it, to think about it. Who do you want to be? Because it's completely possible. It's very simple. It's completely possible. But I'll tell you the one risk, the one risk, the one risk, and then we'll go on to the a couple things that I think that might be able to help you. The one risk is you can't become who you want to be if you're too attached to who you are now. You, one of the biggest, I say risks, one of the biggest constraints, one of the biggest pieces of resistance, one of the things that it's going to, that'll wake you up and remind you of how much you suck every day is going to be the past you, who you been is a better way of saying it. That's how I should have said it. You can't become who you want to be if you're attached to who you've been. I like that better. Who you been doesn't matter. Get over that shit. I can... I, 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 I am sometimes, even I, my friends, even Ooh. I have moments where I have to just ask the daggone question and, and to make it real and, and to re-verify for myself that I'm not crazy. I sat down with one of my friends right after we finished this project and I sat where it was late at night over at his, uh, his company because he's a big baller and he has his own company. So whenever I go and meet him, I go over to his building <laughs> and I sit in his office big baller but anyway I went over and I, 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 I talked with him late at night after all this had gone down I just I just I, did, I needed even I'm weak guys sometimes so I just asked him the question you know the question I asked him I said hey you know me um, and I know you let me ask you this if you had started a new project if you had started a new project and you had gone that project let's say a hundred days and then it, it crashed and burned after 100 days. You know for a fact that I would look at you no different. And I'd say, bro, I'm sure you learned something. I'm sure you burned some money. I'm sure it hurts a little bit, but you're going to move on. Let's go kick ass. And he looked at me. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I, that's, I know that's how you would respond to me, Peter. And you know what I was doing, guys? I was reaffirming my weak ass. That he's not looking at me and saying, man, you fucked up. You spent tens of thousands of dollars. You went hard. Didn't work out. You're a loser. Get out of my office. Get out of my building. No. Because I, what I was doing, I was, I was playing a passive game. I should, have been, I should have been more of a man, but I wasn't. I played a passive game, and I gave him a scenario of, of how, I, how, how he knew I would think about him. But, I, but he knew, because he's not stupid either, that what I was really saying is you don't, feel, you, you don't think less of me, right, man? You don't think less of me. And I know he doesn't. And I needed that. I needed him to say that. I needed him to say that without saying it. See, that's why we don't do that shit. See, that's, that's why we don't give you guys permissions. Because you do stupid shit like that and call in and shit. I should ban your ass. It's too bad I like you too much. Fuck, man. You see, if I look back and I stay too attached to what just transpired, the project that didn't work out, if I attach myself to that, then I will never be the next phase of me. Do you see how warped shit can be, guys? Do you, are, you, are you seeing this? 
You see how warped the mind can be? Listen, I'm going to give you the real short, encapsulating thing. You can go into a project, crush it, fucking crush it, put everything you got into it, 100 days, fail. And you know what you learn when you come out of that? You learn that you're unstoppable. You can do anything. You can create amazing things. But at the same time, you're worried (laughs) about what people think still because you're still human. And what's so crazy is the paralyzing idea that what people think is greater than that which you had just accomplished, which is learning by fire, throwing it all down, showing the world what you can do again. It doesn't matter what the outcome was. The process is what makes the man or moms. It's the process. Who do you want to be? I already gave you the answer, guys. Remember at the beginning of this? Who do you want to be? The answer is, you want to be unstoppable. But the only way for you to be unstoppable is if you make sure that you're not attached to who you've been, who you was, who you were. So I'll give you a couple tips. Number one, start now. You know what? After my project, it took me one day. It's a day. It didn't take a day. It took me less than 12 hours to start again. It's not hard. Start. Go. Do. Yeah. Sucks. Man. Sucks taking it. Just do. Why are you investing time now in the shit that you don't want to be? Why are you investing time now in things that you don't want to do? Start taking the first step towards who you want to be. And if, it's, if you're already on that path, work harder. Time is wasting. <laughs> Don't you realize? If you truly realize, like, like I was talking to this guy in, in the rap shop. I'm going to go back to that guy who was asking these questions of me. Like, when you realize, dude, that you are capable of anything on this planet, then you don't want to waste your time on Netflix. I'm serious. You don't want to waste your time. Like, they're, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, okay, guys. There are some Netflix shows that you just, you have to watch. You have to watch uh, uh, Black Mirror, okay? Just watch it. Fucking watch it. It's the future, guys. But most of the shit on Netflix is not worth a damn, okay? <laughs> time is wasting. Go. Do. Now. That's number one. Number two. Trilla, I think, I think I saw you say it, brother. Savage, says Raven Sky. I know I'm savage sometimes, guys. Gundy says woke. I don't know about that. Number two. Don't go, don't go alone. Don't go alone. Guess what, guys? I'm a free agent again. I'm a free agent in life. So guess who I f- went to first? I went to you guys. My online pals, the guys I started out with, y'all have been down for the ride. It's been amazing. I mean, I, I made my online entrance, entr- you know, three years ago. I was a 12-year button-up consultant. No need to be doing the online thing except blogging every day, which was a great discipline. Helped with the whole deliver videos every day, certainly discipline. But, I mean, I, I had never woken up to the internets other than I was a consultant uh, for deep tech. But I was no, there was no need to be spouting off where I've been, who I've been with, what I've been doing, right? None of that nonsense. But then I decided to go into the YouTube game. Some of you guys were right there. And so now I'm coming back. What a, what a wild ride, It's exciting. So number one, start. We'll talk more about that in the future. Of course, there are lots of ways to start. Number two, don't go alone. Find somebody. Somebody to keep you accountable. Let's go. Let's go to be who you want to be because time's wasting. You want to be unstoppable, don't you? You want to be an unstoppable mess. 
And number three, show up for work every day. Show up for work every day. And we'll, and we and I and lot so many of you guys already know that I'm looking at the list right now that's listening, and I don't even have to explain it. But I'll be doing some more explaining in the future. I think I need to get rid of that. I'm learning something here. I need to probably get rid of that kokunk kokunk sounds. <laughs> I should probably get rid of that. How do I mute this thing. Muting channel. Oh, that's. Should have muted that channel, guys. Should have muted that channel. So that's the Sunday sermon, guys. Who do you want to be? The answer is you want to be unstoppable. If that's, if that's how you want to interpret this. I know personally that some of you guys aren't in, aren't in a position where that makes a whole lot of sense to you. I get it. I get it. But take it within your context. And I'll give you my best example that's not work-related, but is life-related. I told someone the other day, I told them that one of my goals in life is to be the best dad on the planet, which is why I choose to be home all the time. I want to be unstoppable in that. I want to be, the, I want to be unstoppably the best dad on the fucking planet on this entire flat plane. Like, so take that as you will, guys. If you are in a position where worldly success does not matter, go hard, go deep. As, as Bit Native would say, go balls deep. I got you, Bit. I got you, <laughs> So deep, says, says Gundy, so deep. Okay, not like this, guys. Thanks. That was, I know, that was the worst. Well, we're going to end the Sunday sermon right there, guys. Uh, for everyone out there, if you liked what you heard, smash the like button, subscribe, share with anyone who you think should listen to this uh, if it was helpful. Thanks so much. And let me know in the comments section if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about because I'm a free agent and I can talk about whatever the fuck I want. Okay, so back to you guys.